I was driving home from seeing the new Top Gun Maverick in my period piece car for the first movie, and I was going down a hill and noticed that whenever I gave it gas, nothing happened. So I turned the car off, turned it back on, it still wouldn't go. I put it in neutral, dropped it in third gear, it still didn't fire up. So I pulled off to this parking lot. I thought it was maybe out of gas, so I cranked on it for quite a while, and it just stopped. So I ended up having it towed home to take a look. Some folks said that on the distributor that top bolt had come loose in their cars, mine was still snug. A lot of folks said that it could be the DME relay, so I was waiting for one from 944 online, and I was inspecting this in the meantime. Didn't find anything wrong with it, but I figured I'd put a new one in. Alright, so I changed the DME relay, but whenever it cranks, The tack does jump. I probably should put some more juice in the battery. Um, I'm gonna guess that maybe it is the uh, fuel pump, so I'm saying. That the next thing I'm gonna do is, because I ordered more than one relay, um, is put a different one in there. Just to see if it was a fault. I mean, chances are not, but you never know. Um, so would that be the fuel pump maybe? Which honestly, I have not looked to see where that is yet. To see if your fuel pump is still good or bad, take out your DME, take a straight wire with two male ends. And if you attach 30 and 87B, that one and that one, you either hear fuel coming up through here or no noise at all. Mine was given a thump in the back, which meant that the motor was pretty much locked up, but it was trying, but nothing was coming up. All right, I have the DME relay out. I'm going from 30 to 87B. me tapping it it's in there it's pulled out so it sounds like something's locked back there i'm not sure i got a new fuel pump on the way so uh that's a whole different thing that i haven't done before if it is your fuel pump that's going bad i highly recommend getting a new gas tank to fuel pump hose because a we now have ethanol and having a hose that is good for ethanol or ready for it will be good. And B, um, this thing's been crimped or clamped and whenever a hose like this gets that, it actually damages the wall and it deforms it and it could over time close up on you. And for 30 bucks, um, I got the OEM um, one, which I think is gonna be well worth that going down the road. I wanted to put it back how it was, or at least as close as I could. So I cut out the old fuel pump with a utility knife and put the new one back in there. So that way it would at least seat the same way and maybe get a better life with less vibrations Let's going down the road. Let's see if we can do this. Pulling this out with my left hand, sticking with my right hand, and then getting this on there. This can wiggle. A little bit. Oh, hey there. Oh, that's gonna go up a little bit. Just about like that. All right, here we go. No, that wasn't too bad. So now, um, dang. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. No, get on there. Get on there. It doesn't want to go on. Should. There we go.
We're gonna go with that. No, nope, we're going going further. Going deep. Alright, it's not doing anymore. Not too bad. You just got a little bit of gas on me. All right, so I've put the new fuel pump in. Got the battery back to connected. I'm gonna go 87B, there's 30. That one's 30, all right, we're going. Yeah. We've got fuel pumping. I couldn't get the strap to go all the way around it. So I realized that it was the clamp that was in the wrong position. As you can see the nut there, it needed to go further back because that was hitting the gas tank. You can see a little mark the gas tank was but i finally got it in there right and it should be good and snug all right hope this works oh that is oh my goodness Huge shout out to the address group on Facebook. I'll put links in the description below. Um, also, thanks 944online.com, 944barn, and everybody else that helped out with this. Really appreciate it.